and welcome to weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 20th guys really hoping the energy is lighting up a little bit I know we've been doing so much collective work but this last week felt a little heavy um and that's okay we're moving through it it took a lot more energy so let's see what this week holds for you guys this is for cancer sun moon or rising so please be sure to check all three and if this is your first time watching me I hope this serves you and if it does please like subscribe comment down below guys it really does help all right, Cancers, as always, let's just take a deep breath in. Just for just this moment, let's just relax and focus and align. And let's get started. Okay, so let me do Cancer for the week of April 20th. I like it. The Fool, the Epiphany card, Two of Cups, Queen of Wands, my favorite, Nine of Coins, Five of Swords, Ace of Swords, The Hangman, Traditional Tarot. All right, right out the gate, Cancers. I'm lacking it. When we have the Fool card, this is a brand new journey. But this brand new journey, and yes, everything that we're going through right now is unprecedented. But it's because we're going through an ascension process, guys. This is going to take some time and reevaluation, and nothing will be the same again. That's not a bad thing, especially if our intention is to create something better, healthier, newer, higher vibration. For you, Cancer, this week, you are walking some paths that are brand new to you based on the learnings you just had. Let me give you an example. Perhaps you quit a job because it was toxic and you're like, I don't deserve that. Perhaps you walked away from a relationship because even though you really wanted to stay, you knew it wasn't where you were going. It was deep lessons of worth, deep lessons of self-value and, and being in alignment, right? So it's one thing to know something logically, but to actually walk it. So whatever it is, Cancer, that you just went through, whatever lesson, deep release, growth, epiphany that you had this week, you're going to be taking that and walking that talk. And let me give you an example. Perhaps you're given an opportunity to do a project, a new job that's now in alignment with your self-worth. And you're like, you know what? It's new to me, but I'm going to take it because... This is why I made those changes. This is why I've been doing this work. And now I don't know how it's going to be, but I'm going to go for it. Another example, because you have the two of cups right here. For some of you cancers, exes are going to be coming on back. So some people are like, yay, but hear me out. If the lesson was to walk away from something toxic and you did it, this and whenever, and this is a good sign, hear me out. This is a good sign. Whenever exes come back, it's because you're about to level up. You're about to step into the new arena. So maybe you left a a toxic relationship because it was obviously freaking toxic and you want something better and you're about to get into that oven that's better. The universe always brings it back around not to punish us. Like, are you sure you don't want this? And the moment you say no, bam, the next person comes in. So this week you might have to walk your talk a bit. If somebody comes in and you're super tempted, you're in quarantine, you're like, oh, I'm just bored. Now, what would that walking that talk be? Deuces. No, I'm, I'm going to stick with what I'm doing. I'm walking Four, Queen of Wands. You guys have this incredible vision. Cancers, I don't know what's with your energy this week, but you are in manifestation mode. Something is coming in. The Queen of Wands is the ultimate manifester. Not only is she confident and rapport, and she's even sexy, and she's independent, but she's really good at people, and she's really good at manifesting everything she sets her, her side on. This week, you're going to walk your talk. If you want that job, that relationship, that healthy you know, lifestyle, that physical body, that spiritual you know, awareness, whatever it is, this week you're going to be given the opportunities to actually live it, move from it, attract from it. When you have the queen of wands, everything you set your sight on, you're going to attract. The universe is going to bring the people, the money, the experiences, whatever the heck you need. It's going to provide all of that. So be careful. If what is coming in is what you do not want, be careful because you will manifest there again. You're going to get back on that carousel shit show is what I call and not on the next ride. Nine of coins. Guys, this is fantastic. We have the nine of coins. You guys have, this is a dream come true. You guys have worked so hard, Cancer. The nine of coins, you don't just, you're not just affluent and successful just because. No, you busted your ass, dude. You worked hard. You, whether it was not picking up that phone, focusing on that project, taking that class, working on that camera because you're trying to figure it out. That's me. I'm not even a Cancer. But it's a love of life. 
It's a love of the beautiful things. Keep your sights high, Cancers, because the universe is bringing you what you prayed for. And for some Cancers might be on that cusp of teetering, and that's why that test might be coming back around. Five of Swords. Look at with the Ace of Swords. I don't know what you guys were in, Cancer, but you really, whatever environment it was, it was toxic or really negative. The Five of Swords is when this is a really negative or unhealthy environment. Whether that's a work environment, a home environment, a relationship, a culture, your own mental environment, you know, it didn't serve you at all. So this is a sign to some of these cancers. No, someone reaches back in the past. This is not a sign that it's meant to be. I know some people are like, this is a sign. I'm the opposite because you did it for a reason. Now, I'm not saying there's not some people out there that, yes, it should be reconciliation. Look at your ascendant and your moon, not just your sun and check out and see what's going on there. But for the most part, that situation didn't serve you. The Ace of Swords is, is confirming that this idea, this knowingness is true. So when you have the Ace of Swords, this idea that you have for yourself, follow it. And But the Ace of Swords does warn you, the beginning's bumpy. It is. And that's where we can get a little confusing. Like, crap, I thought I did the right thing for myself, but now this isn't working out. I didn't get a new job. I haven't met somebody, blah, blah, blah. It's a bumpy beginning. Why? Because you're moving from one vibrational frequency and you're trying to move to another. So yeah, it's... You're trying to rage. You're trying to move. It's not always going to be smooth, guys. It's, it is. Uh, think of going to the gym, right? The first couple of weeks is hell. You know, your body hurts. It sucks. You want to give up. But that doesn't mean it was a bad choice. It was a great choice. It's just acclimation. So they're saying move forward with that vision. The hangman of traditional tarot, this perspective card, they're saying, look at There's a better way to go about things. They're saying, look, be dare to be different. If you guys are struggling with this test or want to be coming ahead, reframe it. What if I can't do it? What if I can? What if he's meant for me? What if I go back and I'm abused again? What happens if this opportunity, you know, isn't right? What happens if this opportunity leads to set so many more? I'm not sure I'm ready. The universe is perfect. It has right divine timing. Reframe everything, guys. If you have blocks, talk to somebody objective to help flip this for you. You know, the hangman, when you, when you hang upside down, the whole world looks different. So letting you know if there are any hiccups is because of the way you're looking at it. Step back. Talk. Don't talk to your contemporaries because it's some usually they don't know any more than you do. A life coach, a, a spiritual elder, a wise person, a therapist. It doesn't matter. But pause for reflection and insight because the way you're going to look at it is going to click, click, click right in the right space and boom, you're going to move forward. I'm super excited, Cancer, because whenever this happens, the next level is about to step in. And if nobody calls from the past, Hey, so you're doing great. If anything, a new opportunity is going to present itself to really walk that talk and live it. So excited for you, Cancers. I hope this series you. If you like a more in-depth session, a distance healing or a soul reading, please let me know. My link is down below. Otherwise, Cancers, I will see you next week for next week's readings.